fathers always. They don't compete with their children. We want our children to be better than us. Always. Look here. If you buy a car that your father bought, you are poor. Let me say it again. If you buy a car that your father bought, you are what? You are poor. You expect your child to buy the better one. So, unfortunately, I had children who want, they think by putting me down, they'll be better. And it's impossible. That's how you get a case. Because you can't replace me. How can you replace your father? You're a copy of your father. So what I did was, because my children can't rebel from me. My children won't rebel from me. So I brought my children to do that. And that service is really powerful. It's for the visitors. And then also, I believe we'll be having the last services like that with people who are also uh, giving on, on the services this week. You can't be better than your father. Like what I'm doing here, I've been doing that for 20 years. I've got experience. He does not need me to come and pray to do this. I don't fast to do this. I understand why I fast and pray. But if you know your father, you know yourself. Because you, you are brought to lift your father as you are lifting yourself. But if you lower yourself, you are destroyed where you come from. You want to start from where your father started. It will be very hard for you. Because many pastors who are here, who are charitable people, God used me to bring them. So after now, God brought, used me to bring them. Automatically, you destroy me, you destroy yourself. You cannot just come out from nowhere and become something. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm just saying that many people know they are called because of charis. It's only issues when we say, God has called people, has called people. You start to have a dream, you find now you can't market a job, now you are praying to be used by God. You start from charis. In other churches, you can't even do that. You can't even do that. You are, you are forced to go and search for a job, stand on your own. Many people we are supporting here, there are people that were supposed to be going and search for their job. But now they are crying to be used by God. You will never be what you want God to take you to by destroying where you come from. You, we might be not looking good, but you might never be where God wants you to be by destroying where you come from. I've got experience I've, as Mama. These pastors, they know what I'm talking about. Well, Okorombi, they know. Who have got more than 10 years with me. They know. Even if you try to preach all over the world, when you come back, when you sit down, you realize you've done zero. Because you have destroyed where you come from. And it's not a gift that takes you forward. It's the covering. Is the what? It's the covering. You can't destroy your covering and you think you can preach covering to someone. Why God can raise prophets in charis like this man who's a renowned prophet? It's because of understanding submission. How do you want to have children that will submit to you when you don't submit? How do you want to be a great man when you are coming from nowhere? As people like me, I will tell you that it's impossible. The grace we carry can even kill you. The anointing can kill someone. It can make you to turn all over the rain until you attack because you can't carry it. It's not what we go around searching that makes us better. Even to sit here, I can be blessed when I'm sitting, when people are traveling all over the world. 
because I know where I come from. You, you can be blessed by me, I obey, yes. Amen, 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 amen. City, not by trying to fake to be a great man. One of our problems today, we are faking to be a great before God announces. us. You can go, I'm telling you this, I went to London some time ago, some years ago, just to go and do crusade. When I was walking on the street there, a car passed me, they reverse, and they come here. All of them came out to say, man of God, please, one prayer. But I'm coming from Winnie Mandela. People can still search you until they find you. Look what happened to Saul. Look what happened to Saul when he hid himself and the anointing that was upon him. Makes people to say, they, hey, there's a man, there's a man. They search for you until they find you. You don't need to search people. People, you can't, you can't do anything with them. What you need is the grace to understand where you come from. Tell your neighbor, you, you need to understand where you come from. That's where you will prosper. I, I've got many people who are trying to be very big, even now. They are not big, they are showing to be big. Before Joshua, there was Moses. Before Elisha, there was Elijah. So don't ever think God will do a new thing if you are just coming from nowhere. What God will do, he will prove to you that he is a wisest God. So I'm saying this so that you people, you understand that. Right now, what you need to do is not to seek a gift. It's not to seek a position. It's not, you need to have a fellowship in the Word with Jesus Christ. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit in the Word. It's not to be, I'm an apostle. I'm a, I'm a prophet. I'm a what, 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 what. You need a fellowship. You can even die, you go to hell with the position. What you need now is the word of God in your spirit. The word of God in your spirit. The word of God in your spirit. Tell anybody, you need the word of God in your spirit. It's not position. Not position. Not money. Not riches. Not business. You need the word of God in your spirit. Not business. Not friendship. I don't have a friend now. I don't have a friend. I've got brothers and sisters in the Lord. You don't need, you, you have got brothers and sisters in the Lord. You don't need people that will take you away from the word of God. When you leave this church, the word of God in you will create a miracle. Will create a miracle. I say will create a miracle. Are you ready to see miracle? Are you ready to see yourself driving a new car? You must never, listen, you must never feel like if you are born from poor family, it means you will die like that. No, 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 no. What is important is the word of God in you. You might not be having money around you. You might not be having friends around you. But don't allow anything in you to distract what God has given you. And God has given you the word, the word in your spirit. I said the word in your spirit. I don't know if you are hearing me. Look here. You know Job said, Though your beginning is small, your latter end will do what? Will flourish. You might be nothing now. What you need, open your Bible, take the word, enjoy it. Thank you, Lord. I found this, I found this. Let these people talk against you when you are enjoying the word. I, I don't know if you're hearing me. You know what will happen to you? The anointing in you will grow out, will grow out and grow outside. To accept that even when you pass, People will know that you are blessed. Yeah. You must be rich inside before you are rich outside. Yeah. Know where you come from. It's my message to you. Know where you come from. Yeah. You can't compete with anybody. Yeah. Even myself, you can't. I didn't love to be a pastor. I didn't love to be a pastor. God took me like Amos. Like Amos. So what you need to do, don't try to be anybody. Be yourself. Take the word, take the word, take the word. When things are tough, take the word, take the word. You'll be surprised. You'll be very much surprised, especially this year. You'll be surprised. Even if people, 
You know, Gajivenda, in my language, in my language, it says, Tiru Ligidimiswa. Lishava Namusi, Lisa Pandame. You, you, you will chase thousands. Okay. Tiru Lishava Namusi, Lisa Pandame. Tiru. It's like a stupid person runs even though nobody is chasing him or her. So now you have the word you are wise because you fear God. You fear God knows God is there.